so uh, this is going to be a video on uh, building an electric ice auger. Uh, this is kind of my second attempt at this actually. Uh, the first one I used a 12 volt winch motor on 12 volts and it was a little bit slow, it did work, but uh, I'm going to try and amp it up a little bit using 24 volts and a scooter motor controller and I'm going to kind of walk you through how I did it this time as opposed to just showing you the finished product. So hope you like it. Okay, I'm just going to kind of do a, a run through of the different components I'm going to be using for the uh, build here. Uh, this is the handle I'm going to use for the uh, auger itself, just made out of tube steel. I made this prior to the video. Uh, this is actually off my last electric auger that I built. But I did add this handle here from a scooter itself. So I'm going to put the twist grip throttle on that, but we'll get back to that later. Uh, Main items are my 12 volt winch, just the cheapest winch I could find, 2,000 pound super winch. It's like 65 bucks, 69 bucks, something like that. Uh, what I do is I take the uh, winch spool itself out, and what's left is uh, basically this little drive cog that goes inside here, and that's what I'm driving off of. Uh, I found either you can use a 17 mil 12 point socket to mate up to that works fairly well, or also these square drive sockets that Max sells. This is a 5 8 square drive is actually the best and tightest fit onto there. So basically I'm coming off of there and I'm going to come off of there with my shaft. I had to mill the shaft down a little bit just to fit into the back of the auger. And I'm going to actually end up welding this socket to there. That's going to give my drive. Uh, the control, I'm going to plan on using two 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries. These are old batteries off like a mobility scooter or something like that. And then I was given a uh, 24 volt electric scooter. Uh, just one of those cheap Chinese scooters. Uh, you can kids are driving around kind of thing. So I'm planning on using that controller at 24 volts. And I'm going to use the twist grip throttle off of the scooter itself on this uh, auger. So. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure if it's going to handle the amperage or not yet, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to drill some holes with it and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've clamped the drive shaft and the socket together actually in a press here. Uh, anytime you want something to stay square, like when you're welding it, I usually put in a vise or the press or something. And then I'm just going to tack this up and then I'll finish welding it. Okay, so I have the socket welded to the shaft. I also just have a random sprocket that fit on this three quarter inch shaft uh, that's just going to be there as a spacer so I can lock it down against that bottom rib. Uh, I'm going to slide in my little piece from the winch here and then I can put the winch motor on and uh, bolt it all back together and I'll show you how it all goes together there. So this is kind of the finished product as far as the winch is concerned. Uh, you can see the socket there and uh, shaft driving out of it now. This could be used for a bunch of different things really. I have one on my firewood processor uh, for the feed winch, but uh, see how it goes with the ice auger. I'm going to put it all together onto my uh, mount and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so this is where I'm at at this point. I have the winch mounted to the handlebar. Nothing too complicated there. I have the scooter motor controller uh, zip tied and taped to the side of the winch here. Uh, this big jumbled thing of wiring here it looks a little overwhelming but basically uh, you're, I'm gonna have my batteries hooked up to the uh, controller right here. So 24 volts going into here. Most of this stuff is garbage that was for the lights and all kinds of other stuffs on the scooter. I put a fuse in just to be sure, a 30 amp fuse. Uh, so power's coming in here I have the power running through a solenoid, which is basically just an electrical switch or a relay with a button here. So you have to press the button and twist the throttle in order for this to work. So if you accidentally you know, tip it over and the throttle moves, it's not going to work unless you press the button and the throttle. So that's why it looks a little bit complicated, but it's not really that bad. So the last thing I got to do is mount my batteries somewhere. I think for the first test, I'm probably just going to tape them with duct tape onto the side of the motor as well. Okay, so here is the prototype in all of its glory. Uh, I basically just duct tape the batteries to the side of the motor. 
uh, controller, everything electronic is basically duct taped on for now. I ended up switching up the batteries actually to two 2.9 amp hour 12 volt batteries run in series and uh, yes it does work. Have I drilled a hole with it? No. Do I know if it can handle the amps? No. So I'm about to drill a hole with it. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll just show you it here running once first.